What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604. Welcome back once again to Assetto Corsa Competizione. So today I want to talk about 10 of the more common questions that I keep seeing. I did a couple videos previously about ACC and I've been sort of following the forums and chat rooms and things like that to sort of get a sense of what people think of ACC and there seems to be some recurring questions that keep coming up so I just wanted to address those 10 questions and if I missed anything uh, please feel free to drop it in the comments and myself or I'm sure somebody else will be able to answer it. So my first question or your first question I suppose does early access get me the full game? Yes, absolutely. So if you purchase now for 25 euro, anytime between now and November 14th, 2018, you will get the full game for that price. And same with any other level. If you buy in when it's 35 euro, starting November 15th, you will get the full game at that. Or if you choose to wait until the full game is released in Q1 2019, of course, you will get the full game at that point. So it doesn't matter when you buy in, you only pay once and you will get the full game. Question two, how is the force feedback and drivability of the cars? Um, as uh, early access as it is, it feels really, really good. I think there's a lot of work to be done. All you could adjust so far is the game. You can't adjust, you know, curb detail or anything like that or road detail, engine rumble, anything like that. But from what I've felt so far, it is really, really good. I would say it exceeds what they've done in AC in my opinion and uh, for the most part what I've seen in other people's videos most people agree. I know there's been one or two that don't really like it but uh, overall I would say it's very very good so I wouldn't say you're giving up anything moving to ACC. Uh, question three, did the Unreal Engine ruin the game in any way so for those not aware Seto uh, Corsa has Seto uh, Corsa Competizione that is has moved to the Unreal Engine, uh, which it was not in the previous release. Um, it, has it affected performance or the drivability drivability of the cars? No, the performance is really really good. I used to always get drop frames. I still get drop frames in a Seto Corsa, and so far in Competizione, I have not got any drop frames. It seems very smooth. I have everything turned up to epic level, which is their top tier, and it looks great. And it. I don't have any performance issues. Now granted there's going to be a lot more to the game coming so it'll get a bit bogged down but hopefully not too much. But all in all it feels very very good and the drivability of the cars as I said before regardless of the engine they are running under uh, feels very good. Is it moddable? No. It is not currently. Uh, they had in, in the original Assetto Corsa they had mod support right from the start. This one, not so much. I think in not too long, people will crack it and will start to get skins and things like that, but in helmets and, you know, things along that lines, but nothing too major. I don't think we'll have cars for quite some time, but we will probably get there, but it's not going to be natively supported like it was in the previous title. So unfortunately, that's one of the best elements of AC and it's not going to be in Competizione, but for now, just know that there is no native mod support, but I believe people will get there eventually. Question five, how is rain driving? Very challenging. It ranges from light rain, which is kind of challenging. It feels a little bit slippery to stormy, which is absolute nightmare to drive on, but uh, still a lot of fun. So the rain driving is very, very cool. Uh, question six, is there multiplayer? No, not at this stage. We're expecting that in a future build. Right now, all you have access, if you turn a hot lap, you can see where you rank in the world rankings. It does go that far, but unfortunately, there is no multiplayer at this stage. You will have to wait till a later build to get that. Is there VR? Nope, same thing. You will have to wait till a later build. We're expecting that on October 10th. Um, question eight, can you start building driver rating? Yes, yes you can. And you'll see in my videos when I'm driving, you'll see in the top right hand corner, you'll see a bunch of numbers. That is the game rating my driving. Now keep in mind, it uh, is subject to being reset. So uh, obviously there's no multiplayer, so your online rating doesn't matter too, too much. But uh, there is the ability to sort of see how the driver rating system works, but take it with a grain of salt. You're not going to be building anything long term. Uh, number nine, will there be DLC? Nobody knows. Uh, there was a racing team that recently tweeted a photo of the from Blancpain Asia, and uh, they thanked 
ACC for working with them or something like that. So it's kind of a hint that we may get Blanc Pain Asia, Blanc Pain Asia. And so that could mean more tracks and things like that, but that's all speculation at this point. Uh, right now they've announced no DLC. My suspicion is they will not leave it just at GT3. I think we may see GT4 or other things, but strictly speculation on my part. Uh, and how is the menu functionality and setup options so far? Uh, very limited. There is a lot you can't do in the menus. Uh, you can go as far as getting your force feedback, your field of view, uh, your controllers, things like that set up, but you're still quite limited in overall what you can do but it doesn't really matter you have one car one track so how far do you really want to push the options and keep in mind guys that's the whole point of early access to get in there try the game provide the developers with some feedback and uh, that's exactly what we're doing by creating videos like this and commenting on videos like this so that's pretty much it guys I hope that helped to answer some of your questions uh, again drop if you have any more questions please drop it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it as quickly as possible. And uh, if you're browsing this, or if you're watching this video, please browse the comments and see if you can answer any questions from the community as well. Thanks guys so much. I hope this helped and we will see you next time.